All right, I got my RS here, high torque. Came in yesterday. Uh, it's time to put some pads on this thing. It is all nice and clean right now. Nothing on it. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time compared to what I used to do before, where I used to use, use duct tape to duct tape everything in. But this is everything you're gonna kind of need. You're gonna need the baby foam. This is just padding for your babies, like you put on corners, things like that. Uh, I'll put a link in the descriptions. Um, you also need neoprene. Um, this is what I got. I'll put a description as well for the exact roll that I got here. Um, double side tape. This is mainly for some other added things. You probably won't need this, but it's nice to have for just putting stuff on that you want to put on for bumpers for the front. Um, then you'll need some good cutting stuff, whether you use regular scissors or these roller things. Mike found out this works really well for cutting this foam without having to like cut it up really badly. Now this time the thing we're going to change is we're using Velcro instead of mass amounts of duct tape and double side tape. That way, once I make the pads, I can then just Velcro them on instead of having to like, and actually test fit them and see where I actually like them. I have a general idea now where I like them, but when the new hangers come, if they do come, because they're going to hopefully fix this problem where it's not hanging too low, they'll be up further, then the pads will have to change because they'll have to go up a little bit. So with the Velcro system, which Merlin and Mitch have been implementing for a while now, this should work very well to, once again, make adjustments easier and not make the wheels so dang nasty looking every time we rip the double-sided tape off. But yeah, this is everything you'll kind of need. Uh, I'm gonna start building this or putting it all together. I'm gonna start out with cutting up the neoprene so to get the way I want, and then we're gonna start adding on the stuff to the pad. My other wheel will get the Clark pads back on it. I just gotta put the Velcro on it, and we'll see what happens. Also, side note, when you're taking this apart, let it air out for a little bit after you let it out the bag. This stuff stinks, so I'm gonna work with it with the stinkiness because I already have it out and I'm working on it now. But usually, take it out the bag once it comes to you and just let it sit in a room, unravel, just get it. Well, it's all shrink wrapped anyway, so just get it, and then just let it sit for a little bit, let all the smells get out and then start working with it. All right, so the first step is adding the Velcro. And then we're gonna find out what the rear to cut here. Make sure to follow this line. You just make a rough cut first and then you know you can make it better if you need. Just follow this line here. I'm gonna want this to kind of go flush with the right there. Uh, none of these are open vents, obviously, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't think any of these are actually open vents now. They're just all just for looks. I'm gonna apply this right now. I'm gonna clean it up. Here's, uh, I'm gonna grab some rubbing alcohol. Change my mind, I'm gonna use these wipes instead. Can't find my rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna clean all this up nice. And let it all just kind of dry out. I'm gonna apply our little micro here and see what happens. All right, one more tool. These things are awesome. So pretty much when you can't get the sticky stuff off very easily, I just stick it in between. I pry up, and it gives me that little tab right there. I'm gonna pull it off pretty easily. I'm gonna plan once and line up the back. I want this bottom here first. So I am putting the soft stuff on this side of the wheel, so if I do leave anything bare, if I don't put baby foam on it, then it'll be soft against my body, because I do wear shorts all the time and I never wear pants. So I'm going to do one more up here, and see how that goes. Alright, so this is my new cut. It goes right on top, so it's such as this. I just kind of fold the body of the, the wheel. You can do whatever you want. Uh, you don't have to do perfect contours or anything, make it square, whatever you want. This is this brand new wheel, might as well look nice. After the first initial attempt, it'll get trashed, and who cares what it looks like after that. And that is nice. And we have a nice flat surface to mount any pads we want on. Now for down here, I was going to do Velcro as well, but the problem with that is it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna take the baby foam, I'm gonna cut it to shape and it's just gonna lie in there so my ankles don't hurt so bad because that's one of the worst parts is that our ankles hit right here and it's the worst, it just sucks. All right, so the finished part of that is there are 
screws right there. I didn't. I usually cover them up and then we find them later, but I decided to not do that this time. Cut them out, make it super easy, not cover up the pool. RS and the beeper, and yeah, looking good so far. All right, both sides are done now. Front rear, or left right, this is done. Same thing over here. I uh, made the holes for screws and there's speakers. Didn't cover the speakers up. I might put one more back here, but it's not really necessary, just for looks. All right, so the next step is actually making these pad parts. Like you can design them any way you want to look, the way you want them to look at this point. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. These are just blocks. Not the prettiest things in the world, but they function very well and they protect the wheel when they take falls and tumbles. Because this will absorb most of it instead of just hitting the wheel hardcore. Um, pretty much it's just neoprene levels. Can't really see, but it's just this layered on top of each other. So this is five layers. I'm not going to go as thick this time. I'm only going to do four layers this time instead of five. Uh, looks like for seating reasons because then you don't bow your legs up by hitting this all day long So I'm gonna try four and see how I like it if I can if I need to add another one I will but that's what the duct tape is for once you layer them you put the duct tape all over it Obviously cut all this off and then we're gonna put the other velcro on this side So it's super easy just clamp on and figure out exactly where you want it and super easy and done So now I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna start cutting I like to make templates first, but since I already have these I'm gonna use these as my templates to cut out this shape uh, and yeah, and also you put your feet down here and then you can lock your feet in so you can use them as jump pads as well instead of having the dumb ankle bar which was terrible. So we don't use ankle bars anymore, we just use our feet on this and usually the rear, our heels will kind of we'll go in the back where our shoes will touch this and as we lift, so it kind of looks like that and we lift, the whole thing comes up together. But yeah, so, and then you can make them as wide or as close as you want them to be depending on your feet size. Once again, that's why custom pads are fantastic because you can set them to your your leg shape instead of having to buy something that's already pre-made that doesn't fit your legs at all some people might get lucky some people won't this just gives you a chance to make it whatever way you want and your comfort level all right so now i got my little temperate thing here this is where this comes in very handy i used to use a scissor and it just get all marred up trying to chop 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 now this this is meant for thicker stuff but i'm still going to use this once again mike used this and it worked out really well so now that i got my line here I want to go an inch above, so I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it right about there and hopefully be able to use both sides of it. If not, we've got tons of neoprene to work with, so we'll see how well this works. It works pretty good. Actually, yep, it didn't cut the fabric underneath. I should probably use cardboard underneath because this felt is going to get ripped up. So now... I want less of a slope. I'm just gonna cut a square out and then go from there. And there we go. Now I'm gonna need about four of these in a row, and then I'm gonna shape them. a little bit deeper but so I'm gonna cut four of these and then I'm gonna shape them to the way I want Alright, it's all cut up now. I got my four pieces. These are just for the fronts, four pieces. Now, once you get them all lined up in the height that you want, um, and the shape that you want, you're going to take this backing off, not the last one. Take the backing off this one, put it on here. Take the backing off this one, put it on there. Back it off there and get them all nice and straight, and then you can kind of sand them down, whatever you want. So to get the shape you want, I still haven't cut the shape yet, so I'm going to do that real fast, and I'll get back to taping these all together. Once again, getting the shape that I want. The shape that I want. I'm gonna put down where I need to put this down. I'm making each one a little bit wider so that it kind of tapers up to a point. So biggest, nest biggest, and then 
the smallest up top. So this becomes this kind of like tapered situation. Once I duct tape it all together, it'll look nice and normal and not so blocky and dumb. But once again, you guys can make, if you're perfectionist, you can shave all this down, make it super flat, but the duct tape will make it all nice and flat. And then we're gonna put the baby foam on top of it, which makes, it'll give it a nice little finish and softness of good times. So how this works is once again, you put that one down, make sure you have it the way you want. Because once this is together, it is not coming apart. This stuff is super sticky. So once it's together, it suckers together. I like to kind of fold it out like this so it stays flat and not rolled up. And then, yep, that piece is done. And get the other side. Also, I almost made the mistake again like I did last time when I first made these pads. Uh, make sure you have the reverse template for this. So if I do this again, I'm gonna have two sides that stick to only one side. So you're gonna have to flip like this or the other way to get that same shape that you want for the other side of the wheel, left and right. So I'm just gonna do it this way because it's slippery and I can kind of pick where I want to pick where I want to go. And again, stamp down where I want it. Definitely a little harder. But because that's get to that paper, but then once you have the first one done, you can then just put this back over and then measure it this way. Now we're gonna duct tape. I'm gonna wrap all this up. All right, next step is putting the Velcro on the back of it. So I pull this sheet off. First cut the shape if you want. It's gonna be about right there. All right, then with the leftover, I'm gonna put it right here to finish up that little bit there. We'll find these because might, well, might as well cover it all up. Alright, there we have it. Two Velcro items. These will go Velcro right onto the sides of the wheel or wherever exactly where I want them, and it'll be good to go. And then all you do is the reverse ones as well for the, the brakes brake pads, as in just push pads for the rear so you can brake a lot easier and have a little more torque on the wheel, and you're good to go. And that's how you make these custom pads. Um, all you gotta do is put the baby stuff on, and I'll do that in a second here. Now you can do it whichever way you guys like to do it. But I like to go, there we go. So it doesn't stick to my felt on the table. Get this in straight. Dang it, see it's all sticking around. Make sure sharp scissors are left, this is not good. I like to wrap it this way and around. And just do that, do that until it's all done at the bottom. Alright, and there you have it. So, from note, now I will put a piece up here and piece down here. Uh, if you need more length down, you can actually add more. But if you make it the right size in the first place, you wouldn't need to do that. But that's the first one done.
All right, so now me personally, this is how it's gonna look on the wheel, obviously. We'll have the front and we'll have a rear. Now, depending on whatever way you want, you could angle this, whatever way you want this would look like, what it'll look like on your wheel. There's gonna be this gap right here. Now, I did put the soft Velcro here, it's on the wheel. Uh, me personally, I like to have the baby foam in there as well. So what I plan on doing as an experiment, I don't know how well this is actually gonna work, is I'm gonna put Velcro on the back side of this so I can Velcro this in. This would be probably two and a half strips. It's just to cover the middle, just so it's more comfortable. All right, so for fitting, put your foot on where you normally would like to have it. That's kind of where I want, that's what's great about Velcro, is you can just custom fabricate and kind of put on where you think you want them. You get the idea. So you kind of adjust what you want. I know where I want these. They gotta go a little higher. But yeah, and that's how you do it. And then once again, I'm gonna put the baby pads in the middle there so it's a little softer than this Velcro. Cause that's where my legs gonna be rubbing the whole entire time. And rock and roll. Okay, I had a design flaw with my new idea here. And there wasn't enough Velcro space on here to hold it on tight. So I actually had to roll in Velcro underneath here and have it come out and this all Velcro to the same pad. So now I have some pull on it. The front had enough surface area so it was good. Um, so originally if you just put those back ones on, every time I break it would just fall off, just come right off. The front stay, stays on no problem, but this is literally Velcro all together as one big piece. Now what I do recommend is if you are going to make your own pads, make it a solid one piece item and just stick it on just like the Clark pads. So essentially like this, it's one solid piece. You just then clamp this up, well, this way you clamp it on and it will stay there for eternity. But I don't like to have neoprene or that extra three quarters inch layer keeping my legs further out. So I want to be as close to the wheel as possible. That's why I like the baby foam because it just squishes them like on the side of the wheel. So I had to adapt to make this actually all work correctly. And that's it. It works very nicely. So that's the finished product. Uh, what I showed in the video was not how I actually finished it. This is how I finished it at this point. And little puppy here hanging out. <laughs>